So this project is located just outside of Elkin, North Carolina. Big Elkin Creek is Elkin's water supply. Uh, the project is located just about three and a half miles upstream of the drinking water intake. Uh, the project stabilized a massive amount of sediment that was entering the stream channel beforehand. Um, that keeps it out of the water supply and it also greatly improves the habitat. The Resource Institute had to work closely with local landowners to accomplish this project. The first thing we had to do is to educate the landowners to who we were and to what stream restoration meant. And that required one-on-one -on -one visits with the landowners, generally on their property, to look at the stream, talk about it, talk about what changes might need to be made, and then in the education process, I'll also offer them the opportunity to go out and visit previous projects that, that we had done uh, in similar situations, like on the Mitchell River. And thankfully, Resource Institute, uh, working with State of North Carolina and a number of other sponsors, also local groups like Watershed Now, uh, was able to secure funding and uh, see the project through to the end. There are several uh, very tight bends in the creek and uh, due to existing constraints, very little pattern adjustment was possible. So we stabilized these banks in place mostly uh, using large uh, tow wood and geolift structures that included live cuttings. And once these live cuttings uh, mature and fully establish and root, then these banks should remain stable long term. Uh, the, the project will be planted with trees and shrubs and live stakes in the winter time, and this will further improve habitat and long term stability. Personally, being a biologist, I'm, I'm really uh, glad to see the improvements we can make with these type of projects in water quality, which means every bit of aquatic habitat downstream will benefit from this type project. And I think, to me, that's my take home probably more than anything. <music>